for shooting suspect Wilford Gregory. Chief Judge Belvin Perry has suspended adding any new suspects to the GPS monitoring program in the 9th Judicial Circuit, which covers Orange and Osceola counties. And we're getting our first look at the GPS monitoring device Gregory cut off after he's accused of shooting a man in the head at an Easter party in Apopka Sunday. Gregory is still on the loose. And investigators say the CEO of the GPS monitoring company didn't tell investigators that Gregory was missing for six hours. Judge Perry says in light of all of this, there will be a thorough review of all the GPS monitoring vendors that have contracts with the Ninth Judicial Circuit. News 13's Bakari Savage has been following this story and joins us now from outside the Orange County Courthouse. U.S. Marshals have also joined the search for Gregory, also known as P9. You see him right here in this one aside. But questions about the GPS bracelet that he took off have turned this into a double investigation. Timeline of the story starts at 6.26 p.m. Easter Sunday at a party on M.A. Board Street that's near Alonzo Williams Park where police say Wilfred Gregory shot a man in the head and torso. Hundreds were at the party, but Gregory escaped and police thought they found him at 154 10th Street, but didn't. Gregory's GPS had been ditched and law enforcement wasn't informed. There was a serious breakdown of information, a lack of reporting to law enforcement. Uh, we're not happy about it. It hurt this case. It hurt this investigation. Ed Chittenden with the Apopka Police Department says Gregory cut his GPS bracelet within a half hour of the suspected crime and threw it in the wooded area along Martin Road. Private investigator Jane Copenhaver says it looks like Gregory used a box cutter or tin snips. How long would you estimate it takes to cut through one of those with something as simple as a box cutter? No, I would say in a matter of seconds you can have that device off of you and separated from that device. Literally, as, as long as it would take to cut that, you're free. Copenhaver says most companies are alerted immediately when someone tampers with a GPS device. Copenhaver says tracking companies use technology, which the CEO of court programs in Central Florida GPS Monitorings, Marcel Aponte, has ready access to. Aponte was brought in for questioning Monday because he removed Gregory's GPS from the scene. How easy would it have been for Marcel Aponte to turn off this tracking device? We turn them off every day on every case in a matter of about three seconds. Tuesday, Judge Belvin Perry Jr. issued this statement directly related to Wilfred Gregory and what happened in this case. Effective immediately, Chief Judge Belvin Perry Jr. has suspended the entry of new individuals into the GPS program for criminal cases until further notice. Perry says that anyone under the GPS monitoring program will still be monitored, but no one new will be added. Now, going back to Gregory, he has an arrest history that is 16 pages long, and again, he's still at large. As for Aponte, a pocket police are still deciding what charges, if any, will be filed. In Orange County, I'm Bakari Savage, News 13.